hello everyone welcome to central for all channel in today's topic we are going to discuss about mule soft certification in mule soft there are bunch of certifications out of which today we are going to discuss about mule soft certified integration associate a couple of weeks ago i have attended this examination i would like to share my experience as well as the notes what i prepared for this certification all this notes and the materials will be shared in my blog the url will be shared as part of this video description so let's take a quick look about this uh, mule soft certified integration associate okay so okay so this certification provides high level overview about the integration um, api connectivity all the terminologies concepts etc right so this exam will comprise of uh, 40 questions the examination will be roughly 90 minutes and the passing score will be 70% and the cost of this examination is uh, $200 i will share a coupon code if you are using that coupon code the examination cost will be 160 dollars without tax this certification is valid for 2 years so every 2 years you have to retake this exam the syllabus may vary okay. so let me go through all the materials whatever i have used for this certification number 1 this was a post from medium from shubham so this triggered me to take up this certification so in this post he clearly explain about what is this certification what are all the materials he has followed what are all the materials he would recommend to take up this exam so when he prepared this post uh, the certification cost was 125 dollars then due to the demand salesforce has increased its price but i would highly recommend you to focus on the materials what shubham is recommending in this post and the second one is an official material from salesforce so here uh, they have provided all the topics for example uh, exam topic 1 there will be a bunch of topics and uh, each topic may comprise of uh, quiz questions uh, so similarly they have a bunch of topics right so you have to go through all these topics um especially there is a practice exam so this practice exam comprise of uh, 40 question this practice exam the question format list of questions use cases etc it's all similar to the real examination so it clearly says the practice exam is the same format length duration and type of question as well as the difficulty okay i would highly recommend you to take this exam until you get minimum 95% so keep taking this exam when you are taking the exam don't focus on the answer focus on the question uh, what are all the steps you are following to achieve the answer and uh, uh, go through similar topics okay and the next one is uh, there was an youtube video from your integration buddy channel uh, i will share this url as well so uh, this is a roughly 25 minutes 30 minutes video so in this video <coughs> because cover about high level concepts about uh, mule soft uh, this is one of the very good video which i have watched for the examination and again as i mentioned about the practice exam you need to register for the practice exam and you need to take up this exam the next one is uh, um, so here you will see sample questions this is from uh, one of the youtube channel called original this is one of the fantastic material uh, this video is only 4 minutes i would highly recommend you to uh, pass the video for each question try to answer yourself and try to validate your answer uh, with the answer provided in this video so you have to be little interactive while watching this video okay. and the next one is uh, similar to vikas video there is one more channel uh, dump students guide so uh, this video also provide a high level overview about mule soft integration associate 
and the last one is quizlet okay so in this quizlet um, first of all you have to create an account and uh, sign in uh, this material will be very very useful for you one is uh, for each uh, question you will see a snippet of answer and uh, similarly uh, there are few more options one is called as flashcards the one which we are currently looking into so here you can uh, see the question try to answer yourself and uh, try to flip the card and verify your answer okay if your answer is uh, correct then you can click on correct otherwise you can click on wrong so this is going to be your uh, uh, own material okay and the uh, next one is uh, there is one more material called uh, learn so uh this one is powered by the air uh, ai algorithm so whenever you are providing the answer depend on your answer it will simulate the questions it will validate the answer it won't check for the accuracy um, if your uh, answer is let's say um 80% accurate still it will provide you the feedback okay. and the next one is match um so this this is done as quickly as possible and you have to keep repeating this exam and the next one is q chat um, this is similar to uh, your learn uh, this is also powered by their ai algorithm okay so this material i really enjoyed learning so by visiting all these pages number one there is a post in the medium official article from sales force uh, there are uh, three youtube videos and one sample exam and uh, a quizlet right so i have put all the materials together i came up with a small book uh, i named it as notes so in this book um, i am covering all the topics right so all the six topics and uh, within each topic i have provided the important notes so make sure you are going through all these pages uh most of the topic i have repurposed from all the urls which i have shown but make sure you are going through in detail okay so this is one of the notes which i have prepared as part of this preparation right and the next one is uh, quiz um uh, this is the quiz which i got from their learning material as well as the mock test okay so coming to the mock test let me go through few questions and i will help you to understand how you are going to focus and educate yourself for this examination so for example there is a question which is focusing about the api life cycle right so this is the api life cycle diagram let's say if there is a question coming from this life cycle which means this is one of the sample question you have to be thorough about this life cycle there could be similar questions in the examination you need to focus on what are all the stages involved in the design implementation and then management what each stage is about and what is the sequence of the stage and what is the outcome of each uh, stages in this life cycle okay so there could be n number of questions we can uh, ask ourselves from this diagram so you should be thorough about this uh, diagram right that's how you have to look in this mock exam and uh, uh, similarly here they are asking about the components it's about uh, sharing application and enforcement of rules of api design right so uh, so one of the outcome of this question is so you need to focus on the components okay what are all the components we have in mule soft what is the purpose of each component what is its benefit there could be a thin line or thick line difference between the each component so uh, you need to learn about each component right Th that's how you have to take this question and you have to learn yourself the you know the same question may not appear in your examination but a similar question may appear they may be asking questions about let's say runtime manager or uh, api manager right and uh, these are all use case based questions right so the use case based questions are going to be very very tricky in the exam uh, so please pay close attention to each word and terminology in your question okay the questions are not just technical they are little tricky so 
similar to your uh, government examination or any other aptitude test they twist the question but the answers are always straight forward so you have to pay close attention to each word and uh, you have to ask yourself multiple times and you have to answer let's say if the questions are very tricky make sure you are flagging the question you know go through all the question once and answer all the straight forward question and take up all these tricky questions in round 2 or round 3 in your examination so there are options in the salesforce exam to flag the question and come back and revisit and in 90 minutes is uh, very very sufficient i would recommend you to divide the 90 minutes time by 2 and divide into two rounds okay round 1 uh, focus on all the easy questions and one of the trick what i have saw in this examination is first 10 questions will be always tricky okay just to, to deviate uh, the uh, person who is taking the question to feel that oh this exam is going to be very difficult i am not going to crack etc but that is not the truth so don't get upset by seeing first five questions or 10 questions uh, just to skip it and uh, remaining uh, 35 questions or uh, 30 questions are going to be very very easy so attempt all those questions and come back and revisit all the complex questions in the round 2 that is one point which i want to make so in round 1 you are making sure you are passing the exam in round 2 you are making sure you are getting the higher score okay that is the uh, trump card in this exam and uh, close uh, you know pay close attention uh, to the questions okay um yeah so these are all the uh, points i would like to mention so in this notes i tried to capture uh, the notes which are supporting or justifying this answer so make sure you are going through all these notes and pay close attention um, to these notes okay if there are any uh, questions you have uh, about this uh, notes about this quiz materials or preparation Uh, any logistic related question etc please feel free to post your comments in the video comment section i will try to provide the answer to my level best uh, thank you so much for watching this video i will come up with another interesting topics in the upcoming weeks thank you all and all the very best for your examination